Westerly English Academy presents Grammarization Speak English There are five main grammar concepts. One, past tense. Two, present tense. Three, future tense. Four, conditional tense. Five, questions. Asking and answering. Every English sentence needs a subject and a verb. Remember that. Examples of correct subject verb agreement. Number one. Matthew runs four miles every day. Two. They ride the school bus in the afternoon. Three, few of the students are here today. Four, mm, some of the money is missing. Five, none of the marbles have rolled out of the circle. Six, one of the nails is sticking out. Seven, the scissors are on the table. 8. Karen and the three girls walk to the office. 9. Is mumps caused by a virus? 10. Neither the tray nor the cups were put away. Okay, like I said before, there are five main grammar concepts. Past tense, present tense, future tense, conditional tense, and questions. Number one, past. Yesterday, I went swimming in the pool. Number two, present. Right now, I am swimming in the pool. Three, future. Tomorrow I will be swimming in the pool. 4. Conditional. If I had time, I would go swimming in the pool. The idea is that I don't have time to go swimming, but if I had the time, I would go. Maybe I have to go to work, or perhaps I am too busy studying. I have been working on a project, therefore I don't have the time to swim in the pool. And then finally, five questions. A. Asking questions. For example, did you go swimming yesterday? B. Answering questions. Yes, I did. I went to the pool at the club. Or you could say, no, I didn't. I am busy with my studies. Maybe if I have time, I can go swimming tomorrow. Now just listen. Just listen. I will read the sentences. This is a form of grammarization to where we can speak and use grammar at the same time. Grammarization. For example, past tense. Last night, I had dinner at the restaurant. Present tense, today I eat dinner at the table in my home. Future tense, tomorrow I will probably have dinner at my mother's house. Conditional tense, if I have money or if I had money, I will go to a famous elegant restaurant and have dinner there. But I don't have the money. 
to eat in an elegant restaurant is very expensive. But if I had the money, I would go to an elegant restaurant and maybe order some elegant food, like prime rib, steaks, maybe a glass of wine with my dinner, a Caesar salad, and chocolate mousse for dessert. But I don't have a lot of money, so therefore I cannot afford to eat in an elegant restaurant. So I guess I'll just stay home and eat. Questions. Asking questions. Do you think you're going to have time to eat lunch with us tomorrow at break? Yes, I think I will have time. Or you can say, no, I don't think I'm going to have time. I have a lot of classes tomorrow and I'm going to have to eat on the run. So the idea is that you can be able to ask questions and answer questions. Many students know how to answer questions, but they don't know how to ask questions. Why don't you have time to have lunch with us? Well, like I said, I have a lot of things to do. Well, why don't you take less classes? Therefore, you can have more time. Yeah, I thought about taking less classes, but I want to finish my studies quickly because I want to get a good job and make more money. Okay, so what are you going to do if you make more money? Well, like I said, if I had more money, I'd go to a fancy restaurant and have prime rib, Caesar salad, a glass of wine with my dinner, and chocolate mousse for dessert. I don't have money, but if I finish my studies really quick, I can get my degree, and I can get a good job, then I can have money. Okay guys, that's conversation for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Listen is a good way to practice English, correct? Great job. See you another day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, a quick question. Are you going to come on our website tomorrow? Because I might have some more interesting conversation practices for you. Okay. Take care.